Is this the greatest Louis Vuitton? Oh, didn't see you there. Hey everybody, it's Ronnie from Scent Science. First off, I wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you ever so much. We finally hit 500 subscribers. I thank you for joining me here on this journey. When I woke up this morning and saw that we hit 500, I almost shed a tear. I even woke my wife up, I was so loud with the excitement and the enjoyment. I wanna thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I came from humble beginnings. I never thought that I can be a creator. And I wanted to thank you for allowing me to share my passion and allow this baby of a channel to get his first bit of solid food in a sense. And um, I don't mean if I'm starting to get a little choked up and emotional, but I really just wanna thank you so much. As far as the giveaway, we should be giving it away on Tuesday of next week. As of right now, the recording of this video, it is Friday the 29th of September. We should be giving away a bottle of Zhers off on Tuesday. I'm waiting for the Zhers off to come in the mail and then I'll make a post to just give out the details of it. But right now we're looking at probably maybe doing it live or making a video just so I can do a complete unboxing, give my two cents on it and then we will announce the winner. Again, I wanna thank you ever so much for helping me get one step closer to making this from my passion to my career. This is not gonna be the only giveaway we give. We're gonna be giving away a bottle of my favorite fragrance, Nashani's Ani, once we hit a thousand subscribers. Then we're gonna do another giveaway at five, and another one at 10, and another one at 50. And when we hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm giving away three fragrances, each under $1,000, and I will let you all pick what you would want. This has really been a humbling experience. The many nights of editing, the trying to post content every day, the constant hours of just making sure I can provide quality content to you all. Again, I thank you for allowing me to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Now, back to the video. <laughs> Jane Lowe's Ombre by Mason Alhambra really knocked my socks off. It is a clone of Louis Vuitton's Ombre Nomad, and I'm telling you, it is 95% there. There's only a few differences. We're gonna do a review of this, and then I'm going to explain the very, very, very slight differences that will still make people think that you're wearing Ombre Nomad. One thing I wanna show off is that it is a magnetic cap. Why don't all bottles do magnetic caps beats me, but it has that magnetic cap that you would get on Blue de Chanel's bottles. You know that twist? You can't just put it on there. It's a, it's a twist to lock in. Very, very, very good, very high quality. A little spray of the juice. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's it right there. Now this stuff here is strong, beautifully strong. It's not offensively strong. It is slightly sweeter than the Ombre Nomad that it's a clone of. Mason Alhambra always does an amazing job with their fragrances. So good that Tom Ford even sued them to change up their bottles because they do so well with their clones. And I've smelled a few of their clones from Tom Ford. Some are very good, some are eh. But this one right here is definitely amazing. I'm thinking about picking up some more clones so I can help save the people a little bit of money because fragrances are expensive. That's why I always tell you get them from a discounter because they are expensive. Now to give you a note breakdown, let's go to the laptop. Oh, give me a second. <sighs> Needed some coffee this morning. Happy National Coffee Day. Go get it, today's the day. So first, let's look at the original. Ombre Nomad. So the main accords that you'll have on Ombre Nomad would be that amber, the oud, the warm spices, smokiness, rose, leather, it's fruity, woody, balsamic, and a touch of sweetness. Just a very, very, very slight touch of sweetness. Of course, this fragrance being a little bit dark, you'll have it for those late, late night summers that are not too hot, not too full of humidity. You'll have 
the fall, the winter, of course, you can wear this at night. In the daytime, cautiously, depending on the season, depending on where you're at, when it comes to a temperature, I would say do not wear this above 80 degrees. Maybe max would be about 77, depending on the type of day, the humidity, because this can have a tendency to be a little rough when it gets hot outside. This right here, Ombre Nomad and Mason Alhambra's Ombre, definitely be chokers. Please wear with caution with this fragrance. The longevity on the original would be about 12 hours on skin. When I had it, it would just stick. It would stick on skin, it would stay on skin. It didn't survive a wash, so I would say this is good for skin. After I washed it one time, I was actually able to get the whole fragrance out. On the clone though, it sticked on skin and clothes. On skin, it only did about nine to 10 hours. It wasn't a full 12, but on my clothes, I smelled this the next day. I don't know if this is just because of the formulation, because I have heard of formulation changes in Louis Vuitton. I will do a video on batch coats so you can have a better understanding of different formulations and what to look out for when you are getting a fragrance on the gray market, AKA from discounters, versus getting them brand new out the store. I will also talk about manceration. That's actually a very important topic, kind of a little science -y. This will be something that I'll dive into later on, but just wanted to let you know to look out for those videos. So the fragrance notes on the original are going to be oud, incense, rose, raspberry, saffron, birch, benzoin, amberwood, and geranium. I think that's how you say it. Those combination of notes makes Ombre Nomad. It took me a while to figure out the different notes in the clone. Even though they do smell incredibly similar, on skin about 98, 99%, there is some differences to it. And I had to go through a multitude of sites just to find out what exactly the difference was. So some sites are going to say one thing, but this right here is mostly the consensus of about maybe 10 different sites that I've looked at. On the clone, the Mason Alhambra's Ombre would be saffron, rose, the oud, leather, amberwood, vanilla, and cacao. I don't smell the cacao, but I'm thinking they're using that to compensate for a different note. And I believe that they are using some vanilla to possibly compensate for that sweetness from the raspberry. Now, other places say that they use patchouli and iris together to make that smell. I don't really know how, but I just wanted to give you a breakdown. There is a multitude of different resources that say different things, and there is not a 100% consensus that is exactly what is in that fragrance. From smelling it, 98, 99% close, and nobody is going to tell, at least in my experiences with the people I've been around. And this is even me going into the Louis Vuitton store, and the reps couldn't tell the difference. I would wear any of these two fragrances, AKA I would wear the clone because it's cheaper, to date night, special occasions, going out only in the latter part of the year where it's a little bit colder. You can even wear this as an everyday fragrance only for those cooler days and lower humidity days. As you can see, the notes of them are very similar. Slight differences, but not too much far off. Now, let's give this a straight out the bottle sniff. I'm gonna start doing straight out the bottle on the strip and on the skin in every video so everybody can know exactly what it smells like. So, straight out the bottle. It smells about 90% like Ombre Nomad. I wish I still had my Ombre Nomad. I picked up this a few days after I picked up Ombre Nomad and I sold it. I was like, hey, a little extra money because this was close enough for me. Might as well sell it, right? Um, slightly, slightly sweeter and it's missing a little bit of that incense note. It's not as smoky. Is it enough to warrant the difference in price? Nah, let's go ahead and spray this on paper. Yeah, this right here, on paper, is starting to bring out more of that incense, more of that smokiness. It's not as harsh in the opening as Ombre Nomad. Some people say it's the reverse on this. I can completely understand, but when I smell Ombre Nomad, when I go into the store, when I had Ombre Nomad, this right here is not as harsh. I like the fact that it's a little bit subtle when it comes to like, mm. it's such an amazing fragrance. You definitely can smell all the multitude of notes. This right here, 95 to 98 percent 
save your money. I'm telling you, save your money. All right, next, we'll give a spray on skin. Oh, and plus, the spray on this, to me, it's almost as good as the one in Louis Vuitton. The Louis Vuitton sprayer is a little bit better. It's a little better pressurized, but this right here, great job. On skin, it definitely, definitely smells like Ombre Nomad. The main difference here, slightly more of a leather smell, slightly, very, very slightly more of a leather smell. It is still an amazing fragrance. I would definitely pick this up versus Ombre Nomad. Fight me in the comments, but this right here is what I would rather have than Ombre Nomad, especially since the price increases. It feels like every 90 days, manufacturers of these fragrances want to increase their prices. I know inflation is crazy, but it doesn't have to be that bad. Now let's smell the papers dry down. It still stayed the same, it didn't morph. Usually when it comes to a lot of these clone fragrances, the dry down stays a little linear. This one didn't really morph as much, so I can't really give you a distinction of the transformation. On skin after about 30 minutes, yeah, it's, it's, it's Ombre Nomad. You couldn't tell the difference. DV Wonder probably couldn't tell the difference. This right here has to be the best clone that I have, and I only have like five of them. Again, let me know if you want me to make clone videos of different fragrances. If I can find the clone, I'll get the clone, make the video for the clone, so you'll know if you need to spend or save. I'm here to help the people out as much as I can. Now that we hit 500, now we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Once we hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away one of my favorite fragrances. Probably, no, it is. My favorite fragrance, Nishane's Ani. I'm giving away a bottle of it when we hit 1,000. Once we hit 5,000, I'm giving away another bottle. Once we hit 10,000, another bottle. 50,000, another bottle. 100,000, I'm giving away three bottles of whatever the subscriber wants, as long as each fragrance is under $1,000. We're on the road to 1,000, we're on the road to 5,000, 10,000, 50,000, and then 100,000. Those gonna be the planned giveaways that we have. I hope that we can get up to those numbers. I really appreciate you coming by. I really appreciate all the love, all the subs, all the likes, the shares, the comments. This is Ronnie from Sense Science.